There's a tendency to think in this rather standardised culture that play is some frivolous distraction from the serious business of work. But all the evidence is play is fundamental to human flourishing. Many species play. I'm not so sure about the termites play. I've never really followed that one up. <laughs> I've never been invited to join in with them anyway. But certainly, you know, warm-blooded creatures like ourselves play. Culture has always been passed down from generation to generation, not so much because the adults are concerned about passing it down, but because children come into the world biologically designed to learn. Three, two, one, action! And so play seems to be a state to allow for human learning and creativity. What I mean by play is an activity that has the following characteristics. It's an activity that the child wants to do. Nobody's making him do it. The point of it is to allow the child to be the leader of his or her own self. Learning how to learn, that's what we're talking about here. They're thinking without somebody saying to them, do this. Learning how to teach yourself. A school without play will actually inhibit a child's ability to grow. The goal is less important than the process. They're fully invested. They get into the flow. Beep, 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 beep. To be bold, to take a risk. Because you may not know where you're going to end up yet in play. Five. And through their challenging themselves, they're creating meaning. They're learning the very things that psychologists consider to be the foundation for intelligence. I can shock people with my finger because, look, I go down the slide and it shocks me a little. So I touch people and they get shocked. We have a schedule, and I tell the children that a schedule is a plan of what we're going to do today. But you know what? If there's a gorgeous rainbow outside, you have to stop and go take advantage of those things. My fourth graders were recently at recess, and they love to play box ball, which has been around for eons. But there's this particular ball that they like, and someone else is using it. We play volleyball together, so there was a volleyball. Play is never random. Play always has structure. Sometimes people talk about unstructured play. They created a game. They call it Volleybox. There's no such thing as unstructured play. It's just a question of who's structuring. They problem solved, they were creative, they worked together, and that came completely from them. Being open to learning. To let their brains relax and be active. But if it reaches the level that you would call stress, you would just quit. They just quieren aprender porque desean aprender. I remember in particular one student in my class, he turned to me and said, but this is like so much fun. This is like I'd be playing after school. This can't be school. Recess rule! And there's a great deal of psychological research that shows that's exactly the state of mind that is best for any sort of creative activity. It's best for learning new things. It's best for solving problems, especially the kind of problems called insight problems that don't have obvious solutions. I think about why we value education. If you ask a child how many can sing, they'll all raise their hand. I'm a unicorn! Ask a group of adults and maybe one or two people raise their hand because we think that we can't sing. Yeah! One of the keys to a good life is happiness. And people who are happy tend to be the ones who go off and do good works. To feel needed, 
to feel part of a group, and to feel as if your life has meaning. All of these things create happiness, and they all begin with play. If we understood more clearly, as many schools do, the natural conditions for learning, the things that actually motivate children, the fact that, like the natural world, education is about diversity, not just conformity. It's about growth. If we understood that and applied those principles in our schools, we'd have much healthier environments. So I think it's a great mistake to underestimate the importance of play. It's not something you do when the work stops, it's something that enhances your capacity for work. And we should see that holistically.